now, though. Her tidying tips have impressed so many of us online, millions online, actually. In a new series, Stacey Solomon has been showing us how to get organised. Today, she's focusing on the kitchen. So, I feel like most people are wearing a million hats nowadays and doing everything and constantly busy and one of my favourite things to do to try and keep everything in order is to organise the kitchen as well as I can. I will buy as much as I can in bulk. So instead of like a really small bag of pasta, I would buy this like giant one. <laughs> Anyone who might have seen inside my house may recognise these <laughs> and these. I love a jar and I love a label. So what I'll do is, I wouldn't usually use this, I was being posh for telly, but that will take ages, so <laughs> let's just do it the good old fashioned way. I would just pour it in. Obviously I know this is pasta. <laughs> I don't need to write pasta on it, but I just love it. I think it looks nice and also it just keeps me reminded of what I've got. Buying in bulk definitely saves money. We've got four kids between us, me and Joe, so buying bulk pasta has really changed our lives. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Woo <-hoo. laughs> It's my baby. Just slide this in, shall There are some things in this cupboard that just give me life. So I had an old cake stand that you put your cupcakes on and I bought a little Lazy Susan and decided to put my tins on there. The go-to is to sort of stack them behind one another and I just find that ridiculously annoying because you can never see what you've got. You're using the whole height of the cupboard, you haven't got to move anything, it all stays neat and tidy and you can go, right, there's my baked beans, there's my spaghetti hoops. We look at our kitchens and just go, that's the cupboard and that's it, there's nothing I can do. But actually you can, you can move shelves, make them shorter, wider, whatever you need to fill the space the right way for you. If you want to keep the back of a shelf high and lower down just the front of the shelf, what you can do is get one of my favourite things ever, which is a tension rod to put inside the cupboard. They're really easy to adjust. I've brought the shelf slightly down a bit, put the tension rod in as tight as it will go, and then stacked my spices on there. When you lay them down flat and they're on a tilt, you can see every spice in that cupboard and it's easily accessible. You could potentially do the same with your tins. This is what I do in my spare time, guys. <laughs> Now, before you think, what is this weirdo doing? The whole reason I love doing tap to tidies and organising stuff is because I love having fun. And the most fun thing to hang up, in my opinion, is crisps. <laughs> you just clip them on and line them up. And it's like your very own vending machine. They look like a wardrobe of crisps. So what shall I wear? Am I already sorted today? Sour cream and chive. But honestly, this actually brings me joy. I genuinely love it. I'll never change. My crisp will be hung until the day I die. <laughs> Happy organising. <laughs> I know, it's bonkers, right? But it kind of works um, if you had the space. But actually, I suppose, I don't know. See if you do that, will you send me a photograph of you hanging your crisp up? That's a sentence I didn't think I'd ever say. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.